Now that everyone has a digital camera, portraits of people are everywhere, especially on social networking sites. But they often aren't that flattering, mostly due to bad lighting and the wrong camera settings. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful portrait using your digital camera and home studio lights. Everyone needs a great portrait of themselves, and my friend Janina here is about to start high school. So we thought it would be fun to create a beautiful portrait of her using my home studio lighting kit. So today, I'll show you how to create a beautiful portrait of someone in your home using my home studio lighting kit and a reflector to add a little extra color and punch in your photograph. I have a pretty small living room, so I needed to optimize the space. I bought a piece of fabric with pink flowers on it because Janina loves flowers, and I placed it over the fireplace. I'm just holding it up with magazines because it's pretty light. And I placed Janina on the floor. Now, to light her, I'm going to take the softbox stand and loosen up these little controls here and move it down as low as it'll go. And this creates a beautiful light on Janina's face. It's a sunny afternoon, so I could use the ambient window light to help illuminate my scene, but I decided to close the window blinds and focus on only using the home studio lights. In this setup, I used one light on Janina for a more dramatic effect. Because we're shooting in such a tight space, I placed her about two feet away from the backdrop. I then positioned the light slightly above her eye line at a 45 degree angle to her face and approximately two feet away. Normally, if you have the room, you should position your subject about five to six feet away from the backdrop, and you could point your second light towards the backdrop to eliminate shadows. I didn't have the real estate for that kind of setup, so by placing one light at an angle, the shadow on the backdrop was off to the side and out of the frame. Play around and see what looks best to you. Because the lights are constant, what you see is what you get. And they're also cool to the touch, so you can bring the softbox very close to your subject and totally illuminate the face. The great thing about these lights is you can shoot in almost any situation. It doesn't have to be ideal. Here's some camera settings to get you started. If you have a compact camera, use the portrait mode setting. This camera preset blurs the background and helps your subject stand out. It also helps skin tones and hair look a little softer than when using the full auto mode. If you have a digital SLR camera, use the aperture priority mode. With this setting, you choose the aperture and the camera automatically adjusts the shutter speed for the exposure. Now raise your ISO to 400 and set your aperture to f5.6. Experiment with your camera settings, but just be aware that raising your ISO any higher than 400 may introduce noise into your photographs. Also, make sure you turn off or disable your on-camera flash. So let's take some shots. A good camera position is a few degrees above your subject's eye level. Oh, that looks great, Janina. When photographing, a common mistake is to leave too much space above your subject's head. So don't be afraid to fill the frame with your subject and use up all that space. The light from the softbox was really beautiful on Janina's face, but I decided to bring in a gold reflector to reflect back some of that light onto her face and add a little extra gold punch to warm things up and to fill in shadows on this side of her face. And I'm just propping it up on this chair. Reflectors come in gold, silver, and white variations. A gold reflector is used to create a warm, golden glow and looks beautiful on most skin tones. Watch the light on your subject's face and move the reflector around to achieve the look you want. <laughs> okay, put your chin down. Feel free to play around with pillows, props, or any kind of fabric. You never know what kind of look you might get. Oh, this looks like you're on a cloud. When making adjustments, a flattering result can be achieved by positioning the light slightly above the face, producing a shadow under or to the side of the nose. Just make sure you also have a nice reflection or catch light in the eyes. This is just one of the many things you can do with my all-in-one home studio lighting kit. So experiment, have fun, and take a lot of pictures. Okay, Janina, look right towards me. Oh, that's nice. And big smile on this one. That's great. Okay, lean towards me just a little bit and put your chin down. Hi, Janina, did you get the pictures? I did, thanks, Aaron, I love them. Oh, good. I think you look beautiful against a pink backdrop. Me too, and the white ones were one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, did your friends like them? My 
friends love them. Oh, great. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.